Mr. Fernandez. Oh, Hernandez, whatever. Man, get out your feelings, bro. Get out your damn feelings. Okay, over here, we talk about boxing. Every time somebody say something about Canelo, y'all take that shit so fucking personal. Like I slapped your mama on the ass and sucker punched your daddy. Get out your fucking feelings. I know it's hard for you to believe that people are just talking boxing. You know, you could switch the names of the boxers is doing whatever. The story is still the same. It ain't nothing fucking personal, but you guys don't know that. But I'm going to tell you why you don't understand. Number one, you Canelo Alvarez fan. That means two things are certain. You don't know shit about boxing and you got a degree in racism. That's it. That's all that that fucking means. And most importantly, why would you go to a place where you feel like, number one, I don't like the guy. You know what I'm saying? Because I get a lot on, on my channel is about people not liking me personally, which you know personally nothing about me. But anyways, you guys don't like me personally because... I don't talk like a bitch. I don't bend over. I'm not. I'm not a Cooney Brown. I'm not a fucking um, showbiz the adult. I'm. Uh, I don't sell out for views. I don't give a fuck if you subscribe or unfucking subscribe. Like that. Listen, that ain't me. And this is what y'all wish y'all could control people with. Y'all can. Y'all maybe can control other content creators with that shit. But y'all can't control me with that shit. And forever y'all been wishing for somebody who was on YouTube who can handle me. I'm telling you, that person don't exist. And if they do think they exist, they know exactly how to contact me. You know what I'm saying? And you said IBFP is dying to talk to me. First of all, don't speak for another man unless they said it. And second of all, if that is true, I bet he is dying to talk to me. You want to know why? Do you want? Do you really want to know why? Because he's my biggest fan. He steals everything from me. You guys, even people like you, you guys come and tell me that yourself. I don't know what the fuck he makes on his channel or what the fuck he talk about. I know it deals with sucking Canelo Alvarez balls, but I don't go over there to know anything he's talking about. The only way I know anything is you rejects, come over here, start bitching and complaining. And then on top of that, you guys start telling me how he steals my shit. I know he steals my shit. I call myself the landlord. He calls himself the landlord. I call myself an OG fanboy killer. He calls himself a fanboy killer. Steals the same background and the whole night. Everybody knows that because y'all the one that fucking told me. I wouldn't even know about it if you bastards wouldn't come over to my channel talking shit. That's the reason I know about it. But if you're talking about he want to talk to me so bad, that's why. He idol... Obviously, would you steal from somebody that you don't like? Okay, so it's obviously something about me that you admire. Out of all the people you could steal from on the internet and YouTube, you steal from somebody that you claim that you dislike so fucking much. That is such a fucking hater. That is such this. It's such, that's who you steal from? Look, and it ain't no fucking denying it. Nobody can deny it in the world. So how do you expect me to debate a person who idolizes me? And most importantly, how do you expect somebody to debate a fanboy? Don't you know boxing? There is no debating with fanboys. You need two boxing fans to talk about boxing to have a debate. Okay? You want to know the difference between a boxing channel and a fanboy channel? Just look at IBFP channels and look at Cooney Brown's channel. Every other three videos, Canelo, 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 Canelo. Defending every single thing that is done and that and that is said about him. There is no man walking the planet that is beyond criticism. Okay. How do you know a real boxer fan? Name somebody who you think I fanboy for. Go ahead, name anybody. Since you Mexican, I know you probably gonna say uh, Mayweather, because y'all think black people and Mayweather are synonymous. Everybody loves them, right? R right. Somebody in the comment section tell this fool that I got video criticizing Mayweather. Who else you got? Oh, you like Caleb Plant. I got videos criticizing Caleb Plant. Who else you got? Oh, you like Anthony Joshua. I got videos criticizing Anthony Joshua. What else you got? You like Teofimo Lopez. Didn't I put Teofimo Lopez on the Duck Chronicles? Boxing fan. That's the only way you can do that. You gonna get that kind of person and think you could talk to that kind of person that's a fanboy who idolizes you? Get the fuck out of here, man. Stop putting words in people's mouth, man. I have no doubt that he's dying to talk to me. You know what I'm saying? But 
a debate or something like that. That's something that you try to push on because you wish it was somebody out there to stop me from what the fuck I'm saying about fucking Canelo Alvarez. But at the end of the day, all you have to do is stay over there at IBFP fucking land. You, I don't go to places where I don't fucking like the material. Period. You will, you won't catch me on 78 Sports Channel. You won't. I don't know what he's doing. Simply because I don't subscribe to what he's talking. I don't feel it. That's not my kind of channel. Period. You won't catch me over there. You know? Nor do nor do I care what he says. Just like I don't give a fuck what the fuck y'all talk about over there. But y'all so worried about what somebody doing over here. That's how you know who's superior and who's inferior. Because notice, you guys sit over there and talk all your shit. Make your videos and all this shit. Do all that hating and all that undercover I hate black fighter bullshit you don't hear me say shit nothing cause that's y'all prerogative you got a you got a subscriber base that likes that and you guys like that that's fine no no problem but yet when I do my thing it bothers you guys so that tells you who's superior and who's inferior who's elite and who's a punk that's, that's just how it is because if you was really all that Nothing I say should be able to move you off your rock or compel you to the point where you feel like, oh, I can't believe he's saying that. I got to answer him. IBFP, Bruce is saying this. Go get his ass. You guys need to debate. You need to shut him down. This a, you only feel like that if I hit the nail on the head, if I hit a soft spot, if I hurt your fucking feelings. This is why I made this video because you obviously need attention because I obviously have hurt your feelings. And you're not the only IBFP reject that does this shit and y'all love to throw this name out there like he's the Elliot Nessa defending Canelo period but what you guys don't know is I've been waiting for a motherfucker to jump stupid because I've been holding his whole car for well over a year and I know you guys don't know what that means but if he ever gets some balls I'll show you exactly what I mean and it ain't gonna be no talking this gonna be evidence proof that nobody can deny just like this channel has always done provide its fucking proof so if he got a problem if you want to talk to me so bad he know how to contact me personally and that's part of what i'm talking about he knows how to contact me personally because it's not like personally we haven't been in contact before he knows what i mean when i say that he knows the conversations that we had he knows what he ignored you know what i'm saying but in case he forgot I got them receipts. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, go where you feel welcome. Go where you feel like you're getting some good fucking boxing content. If you think I'm biased, if you think I'm not, if you're so worried about my skin color and what I look like, and if that's just too much for you, you can just stay watching fanboy ass channels. And guess what? Nothing bothers you. It's just a suggestion, man. But if anybody got a fucking problem, and I'm talking about any fucking body. I'm not hard to contact. I'm not hard to call out. I'm not, you know, none of that shit. But we all know what y'all going to say. I'm going to show you how predictable y'all is. Somebody would be in a conversation talking about, oh, my phone died. Am I right? Am I right? So, so do I not know y'all? Or do I know, oh, my phone died. You're the guy whose phone died. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, that all has to do with the whole card motherfucker ever jump stupid you'll know all that shit even the so-called my phone died you'll know where that came from how that came to be because that's a story in this motherfucking self but until then don't speak for no other man and don't and don't try to bring no man up to me that idolizes me that steals my shit and and and, and cock jock my material all right come on grow up get you a corona pull up a chair boot up IVFP channels, jack off, and be in happy land. Don't worry about what real motherfuckers do over here. I'm out.